Runner. I live in the Amazon. I, 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 I. Thanks for tuning in to Bar Side Baking. Tonight, we'll be making Witch's Potion Mocktails. And zombie Halloween themed cupcakes. Look at my shirt. Look at it. I'll probably end up doing that at some point in the video. Hi. Today on the baking part of Bar Side Baking, I'm going to show you a few different ways to decorate Halloween themed cupcakes. Fingers, what do we need? Frosting. Usually green, or you can tint your own white frosting to be green. Your already made cupcake. Hee <laughs> A piping bag, your favorite tip, which we used in a uh, star tip, and a uh, glass to help steady your piping bag. And decorations, we have gummy hens and gummy eyeballs, and a spatula to help you get your frosting into the piping bag. Want to take your cupcake, and I'm going to use the Start tip like is you basically just kind of make it point that way it looks like grass and you do that all the way around the cupcake so it looks kind of like grass and then you take one of these coming I'm gonna use purple because purple is my favorite color and you just stick it in there look how easy that was all right put that over there and for the other one, I'm going to use the other color of piping. And this one I'm just going to, the frosting is thinner because we mixed this one up ourselves. But, so I'm just going to do that and make it look like marshy stuff. I'm going to take one of these and gummies. Hello! And you just Stick it in there. And now it looks like a hand coming out of the gun. Huh? Hey, 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 hey. I love you. Tonight, we're going for our mocktail. We are going to make witch's brew. And you're going to need a lot of different supplies, but it is a mocktail. There's no alcohol, and this is a great one for kids. Okay. Hans, our hardware. A big glass bowl. Well, a bowl. Or a bowl. Any bowl. Glasses for serving it. You're not Hans. I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> I have a dinner. Ours is wonderful. It has a nice little pour spout. <coughs> a ladle. Or a soup spoon. Whatever you want to call it. Ice cream scoop. Ours is conveniently like a third cup. Yeah. We're going to need to know that. Yes, we will. The magical spatula that somehow is always in our videos. And always clean. And always clean. <laughs> Ooh, it's got a ducky. Quack, quack. I think it's a duck. That's a chicken. Oh, that's a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to need a one half cup measuring cup, but I don't have one right now, so we are going to use a fourth cup because two fourths make a half. Ew, math. I did not say math. <laughs> Ingredients that you are going to need. Blackberries. Whole blueberries. They're both frozen. So we kind of had them setting up. Orange juice. Vanilla ice cream. And orange sherbet. You're going to start out and need two pints, which is a total of four cups worth of the orange sherbet into your bowl. There's one third cup. We gave up and just went ahead and used the whole container. Okay. That'll be alright. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next we're going to go with half a cup of orange juice. No pulp. Half a cup. We're going to go with one extra since we went with the whole container of sherbet. Now you're going to set this aside to kind of melt down and we'll mix that here in a little bit. Bye bye! Okay, next we're going to put a half cup of blueberries unsweetened. 
and then a half cup of our unsweetened blackberry. Getting the blackberries out of the bag is a little harder than you might think. Then we're going to need one pint of vanilla ice cream. Look at that, it looks good. Yummy. Roots and ice cream. Best mixture ever. And now, you blend it until smooth. Okay, so to assemble, we've now mixed and let it melt down our sherbet and orange juice mix. And we're going to take a little scoop. Well, not a little scoop. We're going to take a scoop and fill about half of our glass with the orange, which it's messy. Blub, 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 blub. We did have to add a little bit more orange juice in to make it. But that's just because we used more sherbet than what the original recipe called for. Yeah. That's not half in either one of these glasses, is it? Sorry, that was a little much. Ah! She's just making a mess. Don't worry. <laughs> well, I'll clean it up. It's my kitchen. That's why we have that cool mat. That was actually a Christmas present from my hubby. Now, next, we're going to take our wonderful blueberry, um, blackberry mixture. And we did end up having to grab a little bit of milk to help smooth this out. But that's because, again, we didn't have our ice cream as soft as it should be. And you're just going to... It doesn't want to come out. We're not going to do it that way. Dang it! <laughs> you just take it. Our poor spatula. Yeah, our poor spatula died in our making of this video because it hit the blade. But you're just going to put that right on top of the orange sherbet mix. Blah, 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 blah. And yes, this is supposed to make four servings of this size cup. So now you know why everything, there's so much of it. Yummy. So thanks for tuning in to Barside Baking. So remember, subscribe, like, share, and comment. And we'll let us know what you think. Queen Bee, tip of the day. I don't have to outrun the zombies. I just have to outrun you.